Hi guys, it's Dakota. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I hope that you'll like the content. And I hope you'll subscribe. Um, today, I just want to, uh, I'm going to do a little full moon um, ritual thingy that I, I came up with. Um, or spell work. Oh, it's not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of some spell work. <laughs> um, I'm going to be the full moon. By the way, July full moon. It was last night. I didn't do anything, but I'm doing something tonight. So um, what I'm going to show you is part of what I'm doing. Um, and uh, word wise, let's put it that way. Word wise. So um, it's pretty much going to be the same. You know, there might be a different thing here or there, but it's pretty much the same. With the exception of the words, which I'm not going to give you words because I never do, because I want you, if you want to follow the spell work or the ritual or whatever it is that I do, I want you to use your own feeling about that, your own intention, your own words, right? I, I want you to use what you feel you need to say for whatever it is that you do. Um, so, uh, all right. So last night was full moon. I, let me say this, I, I love full moon rituals, I do. I, I love full moon rituals um, and they're great. I like them even more when uh, somebody else is doing the ritual. <laughs> um, I do work with the full moon. I, I used to, years ago, I used to Put water out to charge it for the you know to charge under the full moon put my stone my jewelry whatever was always out under the full moon to charge um <clears throat> i have since uh, the only time i do that the only time i do that now is really if it's a special moon so like um i mean yeah last night was you know i think last night was a super moon or something which it's i'm not going to go into all the things but um we get a lot of super moons. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's a big deal, but it's not enormous big deal. Um, once in a blue moon. Okay, so that sounds like it's a big deal. Well, it means there's two full moons in, a, in one month period. Um, it is a little more special because um, we don't get that all the time. We don't get that every month. That's why the phrase once in a blue moon. That's why, because, you know, there might, there, there would be two full moons in one month. That does not happen every month. So if I need water uh, charged, like if I don't have any special waters and uh, I, I need some special water, then I might, you know, fill up the, the jar with the distilled water and put it out under the blue moon, the second full moon of the month, and, and charge it that way because it's a little bit special for me. It's like, it's you know, it's a little bit extra special. And I'm just talking about for me. These are just... This is just how I work. You work how you work. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, um, but I, so waters for me uh, could be, and, you know, it, this is the other thing about how I've changed over the years. Um, so I no longer put my stones out. I no longer put my jewelry out and all of that. <clears throat> and... Like I said, I seldom by myself alone do a full moon ritual. Um, I work with a lot with the dark moon, uh, the dark moon energy energies. Here's the deal, my friends. <laughs> the moon is the moon is the moon. The moon does not change. The moon is the moon is the moon. The only reason it goes from, <laughs> from white to dark is or light to dark is because the way the rotations are in the orbit the earth and the moon and the sun and all of that so you know it's just a shadow right that's this right here this dark part that would just be that's like the shadow that's on the moon so the sun isn't a blocking blocking the sunshine full sunshine no sunshine um so the moon so i go by the moon itself the moon is the power source that's where, that's where I'm going to plug into the moon. Whether it's waning or whether it's waxing, the moon is the moon is the moon. I don't need a full moon to do my work. I just don't. If I am trying to, if it, if it is a, a, I call it a dark moon 
Some people call it a new moon. Call it what you will. Typically, if you read up on it, you know, in, in your witchcraft books and, and all of that, a dark moon is, you know, typically the time when we rest and relax and, you know, it's kind of like she's veiled and so we just, you know, we, we go within and we study what's going on within ourselves and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so, and, and it's a great time to like let go, let go of. But here's the thing, if, if I don't have anything to let go of at that particular moment, <laughs> there, there's nothing like life is grand, life is great, but I'm trying to manifest something, I'm trying to, I need to bring something, maybe, you know, um, I have a cold or something like that, knock on wood that I don't, ooh, find some wood, knock on wood, okay, um, then, and it's a dark moon, well, oh, you can't manifest anything on a dark moon, wrong, wrong what you can do and maybe that is a word maybe maybe that word manifest release okay maybe those those are just words because it is about your intention so you know if if i felt like i was getting a cold or something i you know i was like i'm not feeling well <clears throat> what i'm going to do then on the dark moon <laughs> like i'm not going to try to i'm going to release the cooties i'm going to release them it's going to release them and let them go and what happens is that creates a door opening for um, health to come in, um, is how I see it. If when it starts to, when it become, for me, when it becomes a new moon, when it starts to wax, then if I'm still feeling kind of cruddy, then I might go ahead and do thank you for letting me, you know, for opening the door, because maybe I'm still kind of icky, Thank you for opening the door of releasing the things that were making me ill. And I would like to manifest a healing, whatever. I just don't believe, me personally, the energies of the moon, even though you can, you know, I'm sure the ebb and the flow of the oceans, the tides and all of that, I'm sure that that is different. But how does that affect my intention. The moon is the moon is the moon. Yeah, it might be really, really powerful on a full moon. La luna, the crazy, you know, the jails are full. People go crazy on a full moon and all of that. I get it. I get all of that. But I think over the years, I've just learned and I've practiced a different way of doing my work that works for me. And uh, I love when people get out of the box a little bit um, from what, they, what they're reading because, you know, all the books and stuff on, on magic, witchcraft, whatever it is that you practice, I mean, somebody wrote those. And did they write those based on their own experience? Because that's great. It's great that you had the experience that, on, on that. Um, but there's nowhere that I've ever seen <laughs> that I've ever read, that I've ever heard, that I've, any class, and I've taken an enormous amount of classes, courses, all kinds of stuff, have I ever, has anyone ever said, this is the book of the law? Oh, there's a book, book of the law. Um, but, you know, there is no law, because how you think is different how I think. Your perspective of things is different from mine. So, um, that's just how I feel. Okay, so that's just me. So, I do love full moon rituals. I, I like it when somebody else does it more so than when I do. Most of the full moon rituals that I've been to have, uh, there's mostly a, a manifestation thing that, that we do. Whether it's, you know, writing it on a bay leaf or doing whatever it is that we're doing. We're trying to bring that goodness into our life. We're trying to bring whatever it is, you know, the job promotion, more income, the love that we want, um, blah, 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 the health. All of those things, <coughs> um, excuse me. And so, and all of that is fantastic. But, um, you know, my a, a friend of mine, <laughs> I think I mentioned this in, a, in another video uh, before. A friend of mine, we, we got to just talking one day, we were just, you know, being silly and we were laughing um, just about this, about kind of about this, this subject and, you know, how it always seems like 
we're writing our intentions down and and then we we burn them you know in the fire or we drown them in the water or we bury them <laughs> and um you know it, and i just made it funny and i said you know for we were talking about bay leaves because that's a big thing write it on a bay leaf and uh i was just kind of and I, i'm not making fun of anybody trust me i still to this day will write something on a bay leaf occasionally but um I'm just saying that I was making a funny and I said, you know, I can imagine the universe going, oh, heads up, here comes another bay leaf, you know. Um, I love getting out of the box. I love, I want my work to be my work. Just that, that's a big word, my work. I want it to be my work. I don't want it to be anybody else's work. I will take an idea and I will run with it on my own. Um, so uh, th today I'm going to show you what I have going on and I'm, I'm going to give you some bits and pieces. Uh, we did in June uh, on the Sunday before the summer solstice, we had ritual here at the house and uh, that Sunday was actually a dark moon. It was a dark moon and I work with Hecate and it was her, uh, it's her depot. So, um, the others part of the group, um, don't necessarily work with Hecate. Don't know if they do or they don't. It's none of my business. Uh, but I did invite them as guests to come and, and, and watch and you know, just be part of, of the depot. And uh, so when we got done doing that, and it was really great, I loved it, and thank them for, for just coming and, and, you know, being a part of that energy, I loved it. And uh, then we moved on to a summer solstice thing, although it wasn't really summer solstice even though that's what I had said it was going to be, um, it just turned into something else. So, um, but it was fantastic. And when I was, when we were sitting there doing it, I had this thought because weeks before summer solstice, I had, uh, this, this thing that has been coming up for me that, uh, I wanted to talk about. I didn't do it. I haven't done it yet. I didn't do it before summer solstice because I felt like it was kind of one of those, you know, I don't know. It's probably People probably, I don't know, I, I don't know if anyone will understand it or they, they don't understand it and that's fine. Um, but it was just one of those things that I was like, yeah, it's just a little, kind of a little heavy and I just really didn't want to get into that um, because I was prepping for like summer solstice stuff, you know, light and cheery in summer and, and all of that. So um, anyway, it's hot in here, sorry. So um, anyway we had like this so so while we're doing our our other ritual and we had two rituals that night it was great um i i, I just i started the synchronicities just started flowing for me it was really funny and afterwards like after we got done with both rituals and uh we you know we just always sit around and we just chat and talk and and share and and uh it's just very fun very personal and just you know it's just it's it's great and what was funny was that everybody started opening up to synchronicities things that were going on and one of the things that we did did involve fire and um because you know i'm, I'm the pyro of the group um, and uh and and, so, and i don't want to give up everything but it did you know it those synchronicities were coming up and afterwards when we were talking about, you know, the ritual and stuff and, uh, it was just so cool. So, uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, so because that happened, I went, wow, you know, and, and it had to do with this thing that keeps coming up for me. But even with that, I still was like, yeah, I really don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to, you know, do that. I'm not going to share that information because I don't know. I think I don't know. I don't know if it would cause controversy or, you know, it's not controversial, but just, I have, you know, I just have a weird way of thinking about things. So, uh, but I just, again, that synchronicity, I'm like, eh. <laughs> you know, 
Maybe that is the universe's way of telling me I should do it because nobody has to agree with me. I'm just talking, I'm just yapping away. So, so I, today, this, what I'm talking about today, this full moon thing, I'm going to show you. Um, I just wrote it like an hour and a half ago. Seriously. I, I said, Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this instead. And as I started writing it, I started thinking about, um, the summer solstice ritual that we did and how we, we talked about synchronicities of, you know, it's funny that it's a dark moon, but we're doing summer solstice ritual, you know, uh, which was going to be that Wednesday. Anyway, we did it, you know, a few days early and it really wasn't, it wasn't about summer solstice. I can just tell you that. Um, but there was fire involved. <laughs> uh, so anyway, just, uh, just that dark and the, the light, you know, the dark moon and the light of summer solstice and stuff. Um, and so I, I have been reflecting on that and, and, you know, I really want to, I want to feel more about that. I want to understand that more, that polarity. I, I want to, I want to dig deep into that and, and I, like, I get it. I know what it is. Um, studied hermetics. So I know I, I get it, but like, I want to dive, I want to dive into it and, and see what that, I, I need to feel it. I need to taste it. I need to. You know, so um, anyway, um, so today <laughs> uh, it's, I am using some remnants from our ritual that we did. It was I, I thought it was uh, uh, I thought it was pretty powerful, and and it's it was something and it was it's uh, sorry, <laughs> it's something that uh, I got to experience years ago in a group. I was invited to a group and, uh, and we did that. Um, and it was, it's a med like a meditation, but not kind of like a meditation, but not. Um, and, uh, it was powerful for me. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, even though I was the, the, whatever the host of it and was, you know, guiding them, if you will, um, I was receiving as well the, the, this group that we, they, I have no words. They're fantastic. And I was just, I was fee, I could feel their energy. It was so awesome. And it was powerful. So I don't know if they, I think they might've experienced it. Maybe not to the degree that I did, uh, which is absolutely fine. Um, like when I did the first time that I, that I ever did it because I didn't get to do it this time because I was the presenter. So, um, but I still felt their energy and, and I really liked it. Um, for me and a full moon, full moons kind of seem to be light and airy for me. And, uh, you think that I'd like that since I'm an air sign, <laughs> but, uh, I am sort of this wild child, you know, I'm this, I'm this. I, I like, um, I like things a little bit, uh, I don't know. Um, let me look at my notes. I wrote it down. Um, oh, I like rituals that aren't just relaxing and we're going to manifest this. And no, not that I don't like those. I do. I just, uh, I like something that is a little more wild. I like dancing. I like chanting. I like drumming. I like doing rattles. I, I like swirling and, and creating that cone of power, you know, that, uh, that that's what I like. I, I love that, uh, that part of ritual. And for whatever reason, full moon rituals always seem to be a little bit on the lighter side, which we need. Because here's the thing, there's that polarity. Can't have one without the other. So I think this series, by the way, is going to, not a series. I think that today is actually part one. I think part two is coming up because I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go there. I, I think I'm going to bring, I, I'm, I'm going to do the, the, not the ritual, the um, video that I wanted to do before. Because it does deal with polarity and uh, this, it, it does. So, um, yeah, I, I just, I just want, I need something that is powerful, that makes me want to, um, 
dive, you know, into the flame of the candle. Like I want to, I want to go like this and just, what, what is it? Let me see what's hidden. You know, I, I love that feeling. I love that ecstatic, wild, you know, feeling uh, that I get. And, and I do that alone, believe it or not. I do it alone um, because a lot of people are shy when they get around a group and, and they, you know, we, we get intimidated and, you know, we get shy and we get giddy and all of that. And I'm just like, man, let it out. <laughs> um, so... Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you this. Um, let me set it up. Be right back. Okay, so I have this set up. This is going to be my um, my summer so or I'm sorry, my full moon uh, ritual that I'm going to be doing. I have taken rosemary uh, right off of my uh, plant, my rosemary bush outside. And I peeled the um, little things off and I put that around the outside. So that kind of acts as a purification and uh, rosemary is really good for purification and protection. So I'm using it for purification. And then these white petals are off of my uh, gardenia plant. Mmm, smells really, really good. I'm just going to give you a word of warning. <laughs> this is very fragrant. So if you, you know, don't like a lot of fragrant, you might want to choose different uh, flowers or herbs or whatever to use. Uh, so I've got rosemary, which is pretty fragrant, but the gardenia, holy smokes, it is really fragrant. And I use the gardenia one because white is purification uh, and white is the color of a full moon. So and gardenias are blooming right now. So that's why I used the white. Um, I am using these little, um, I don't know what they're called, uh, just some little yellow flower that I have in my gardens. Um, just because yellow is brightness for me. Uh, you know, it just, it represents, I don't know what it represents, bright, sunny colors and stuff like that. So, um, but it also represents for me fire and I'm going to be using fire uh, in just a minute. <laughs> so one of the things that I'll show you, I have, um, this is some special water and I'm only going to say that it is special water. And that uh, came about at our, uh, the ritual that we had at the summer solstice thingy that I was telling you about. So it's not necessarily summer solstice water, but it is special water. And I am going to, um, I couldn't find my little dropper, so I have to use this dropper. I'm going to use this. And I know some people are like, well, why don't you just pour it in? And the reason why is because I like to do the work. So I'm going to use the dropper and it'll take me a minute. I'm going to, here in the center that I'm dropping it in is an amethyst uh, bone, or <laughs> bone. An ameth hey, if you find an amethyst bone, let me know. It's an amethyst bowl. All right, let me uh, put you on pause again. I'm going to fill it up. Okay, so it's got water in it. Uh, normally I would fill it up a little bit more but I need that water for tonight. Uh, it's a very special water. And um, I'm going to be, uh, I'm also going, let me go on. I'm going to be using this candle, this votive, which yes, it was used uh, on the night of our ritual for the summer solstice thing, uh, which wasn't a summer solstice thing. And I'm going to let that float in the water. Got a paper towel here somewhere. Don't know where, so I'm gonna swipe on my pants. <laughs> um, and then uh, this, this plant here, um, I don't know its real name, but it's also known as the uh, Star of the East. And I'm going to uh, pick the buds off of it, and I'm going to, let me see if I can get them to stay in here without catching them on fire. Uh, I'm using them because I also grow this in my garden. These are 
so pretty and really, really easy to maintain, by the way. So I'm just going to put these in, uh, in here. It probably would be better if I just pulled the leaves off the bud because I don't want it to catch on fire. Uh, so anyway, there, there's my little flowers, this one and two, and uh, Star of the East because, um, you know, the moon rises here, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, in the East. Um, normally I cut my wicks but I couldn't find my cutter, my scissors, anything. So they are very long. Uh, so this candle also has some very special meaning uh, to it. Um, like I said, it was uh, created, something that we did, my group, at the, um, the ritual that we had uh, right before summer solstice. So uh, it has a lot of special meaning to me as does the water. So I hope you guys are watching and listening, but I am, by lighting that candle, I'm calling in the egregore that we talked about that night. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to light it for, well, first I would do, you know, of course I would sit here and I would uh, do, say words, whatever you want to do for your full moon. And uh, and then I don't know if they'll stay lit because I got the fans running, but I'll just show you. I'm going to uh, light the candles. And like I said, I don't know if they'll stay lit. Actually, yeah, they're gonna go wild. So. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can get them. And there you have it. And this is what I'm going to be creating tonight as well and uh, for the full moon ritual. Um, and that's it. Um, guys, I hope you liked it. I hope you had a beautiful full moon. I hope you had a wonderful summer solstice. Um, I hope if you're celebrating 4th of July, that you are extremely careful. <laughs> uh, be careful, you know, watch your fur babies, uh, protect them, love them, keep them safe, keep yourself safe. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next week and maybe I'll do what I was gonna do. <laughs> Bye guys, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.